All right, so I'm going to look at question three. Now, my question three um, has these particular numbers. Um, and notice I kind of printed zero here, one here, two here, three here. I alternated just because of the width of the screen there. So I apologize for the alternation. And the first part asked me to find my mean and to find the variance and to find the standard deviation. Now, for a probability distribution, the mean is given by the sum of x times the probability distribution. So to find um, these values, we have to add up 0 times 0 0.682 plus 1 times 0 0.201 plus 2 times 0 0.076, plus 3 times 0 0.021, sorry, I'll put mu over here, plus 4 times 0 0.013, plus 5 times 0 0.007. It's usually easier in this um, to do this in columns. Um, and so if I were to do all my additions or subtractions on these, I would actually turn this into column data um, to keep track of the things we're going to need for the standard deviation and the other um, parts. So uh, what we're going to do is put that together. We'll come down here. So I have my x values of 0, 1, 2, three, four, and five. My probability of x being, let me look here, make sure I have these right, 0.182, make sure I had that right, was it 0.182 or 0.682? Oh, it was 0.682, handwriting issue there. There we go, 0.682, 0.201, 0.001, 0 0.076, Point zero two one, point zero one three, and point zero zero seven. So we'll do x times p of x. We'll multiply these together. So that's zero. That's point two oh one. Oops. And so two times six is two. Carry my one. It's 15, so that's 0.152. 2 times 0 0.076 is 0.152. 3 times 0.21 is 0.63. 4 times 0.013 is 0.052. And 5 times 0.07 is 0.035. And so we sum up this column. The sum of x times p of x Oops. I keep putting my parentheses in the weird places today. It's a parenthesis day. And we sum up that column and we get, I think they wanted to one decimal place on this here. So let's do 0 plus 0 0.201 plus 0 0.152 plus 0 0.063 plus 0 0.052 plus 0 0.035 equals 0 0.503, and they wanted one decimal place, so 0 0.5. And so the average is 0.5. Now we need to calculate the variance. And so the variance um, can be found, if we look back in your definitions in your book, um, of finding the variance of a DV, um of a probability distribution, we need to, I'm going to write the equation up here for the variance. It's the sum of the x value minus the average squared times the probability of x. So we need to create another column to find that variance. And then what we'll do here is we'll take the square root of the variance for sigma. So the first thing we need to find is 
x minus mu. And so I need to take this value of x and subtract mu from it. So x, 0 minus 0.5 is negative 0.5. 1 minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.5. 2 minus 0 0.5 is 1.5. 3 minus um, 0 0.5 is 2.5. Right? Taking my x value, and I'm subtracting the mu that I found. 4 is 3.5, and 5 is 4.5. And then in the next thing I want to do is I want to square this and so a, a negative squared is positive, and I get 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and grab my calculator here, 2.25, 6 6.25, 12.25, and 20.25. And now I need to take this column, the x minus mu squared, and I need to multiply it by the probability of x. And so we're building our probability columns here. So 0.25 times 0 is 0. 0.25 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2.25 is 4.5. 3 times 6.25 is 18.75. Again, I'm using my calculator to fill in these values. Oh, I am multiplying by x. Bad Jeff, bad Jeff. I want the probability of x. So I want 0.25 times 0.682. I typed in the wrong column. I was so excited to get the easy numbers. Okay, this is 0 0.171. Now I'm going to take this 0 0.25 times 0 0.201 and I get 0 0.050. Now I'm going to take the 2.25 and multiply it by the 0 0.076. And I get 0 0.171. Put my lines down here so that I'm separating my columns. through all this mess here. There we go. And then I'm going to take 6.25 times 0 0.021. And that gives me 0 0.131. I'm going to take 12.25 times 0 0.13, whoops, nope, 0 0.013. All right, 12.25, that's the x minus mu, times squared times the probability of x, which is the 0 0.013. That gives me 0 0.159. Again, I'm rounding to three decimal places. Then I'm going to take the 20.25 times the 0 0.007. James Bond answer, right? And that gives me 0 0.142. And so my variance is going to be the sum of x minus mu squared times the probability of x, or it's going to be the total of this column. And so I add up this column, 0 0.71 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.171 plus 0 0.131 plus 0 0.159 plus 0 0.142. And I get for my variance 0 0.142.
0 0.82. And if I take the square root of that, so sigma is the square root of that, and oh yeah, that's right, they want everything to one decimal place, so 0 0.8. And if I take the square root of that, I get roughly 0 0.9. And so I'm able to calculate um, the, um, the mean, the standard deviation, and the variance by keeping everything in columns and making sure that I actually multiply by the probability and not x. But I caught myself there. And so what this says, if we, if we try to convert this to human speech, which is what they, what they want to do, is on average, a household has, well, it has... 0.5, because that's the average, with a standard deviation, which we'll find out later, is saying plus or minus that 0 0.9 of the standard deviation that we have coming across. And so this answers question number three if you're using the TI-30s.